So the first question which we have here is how to start a website selling company with having skills in HTML5, CSS and JavaScript. So I think what you're asking me here is how do you start a web development company which sells their services to small medium businesses for creating websites and stuff. So pretty much you would need to set up obviously first of all your own website where you can offer these services, set up your contact details and all that stuff, create a beautiful website yourself. And then maybe you could use advertisement, Facebook ads, Instagram ads to target local, your local area. Maybe, I'm not really sure here, go manually ask some small businesses if they want to get online and sell them their services. And yeah, that's how you would start a website selling company. Job scenario in India, Angular or React? Now, I'm not really the guy who would be um, able to answer this question in the best way possible because I'm not into jobs at the moment but uh, what the trend usually is that startups and all these small companies usually pick up react and uh, other bigger companies and mature companies go with angular now it's not anything related to angular versus react that is what the trend usually is that is what i see so yeah if you are um looking for a company who uses angular then you should learn angular Right. If you want to get into a company, you could actually get what stack a particular company is using. So if you are applying for um, Angular related companies, you should obviously go with Angular. Otherwise, go with React. How to get a job as a fresher in India and software industry? Again, this depends on um, your tech stack, but essentially um, as a, inside software industry, it's quite wide. Now you could pick up web development. You could pick up um, maybe like uh, normal languages like java c c sharp c plus plus stuff like that but i would be best able to answer in web development side so pick up your stack that is your html css is always there with javascript pick up any one framework go learn it uh, in a depth maybe if you want to write full stack on your resume then you could go ahead and learn some node and mongo as well scope of flutter framework in future yeah, well, Flutter is backed by Google. It is here to stay. So it's it's pretty good idea if you want to learn it um, because these cross mobile application development frameworks like Flutter, React, NativeScript, all these technologies are on the rise. So they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Why am I still alive in this hellhole? Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Are you working for any companies at the moment? No, I'm not working for any companies because I'm a student. Why did you choose the name Code Dam? It sounds to me a bit like, damn, I have to code again. <laughs> um, it's not really a very long story. It's just random. I just, you know, made this up. I, I wanted to do something with code. And uh, um, I just went with Code Dam. Initially, I named this channel Coder X. So, yeah, it was named Coder X at starting, but I changed pretty quickly. Um, you would not have uh, noticed that if you were not in the first 15 20 subscribers of this channel because I changed it I think uh, in a week only so yeah it, it was just a random decision code down I just damn it just code that that was the attention uh, <laughs> intention for this channel right your view on Next.js and would you make any series for it not at the moment um, I'm not really familiar with Next.js as well I've not used it and do not really have any plans to make any series on that at the moment. But I'll keep that in mind. Laravel API plus React. The difference of Laravel controller and React router and how to handle the routing. Axios and fetch from React.js. Which one should I use? Please give me some examples of the conditions. How to choose Axios, React.js, fetch. Laravel controller and React router. Thanks. Um, okay, so what exactly you are asking here? If you're asking how to set up a Laravel and React JS project, I think that would require another video. Um, but uh, what you're asking in the second line, Axios and fetch from React JS, which one should I use? Axios under the hood uses fetch only and fetch is not really bound to React JS. It's, it's a new API for JavaScript. So yeah, Axios makes stuff easy, but fetch gives you more control over things. So yeah in most cases axios is just fine 
but if you don't want to like bloat your HTTP request and stuff, for example, if you're doing it on React Native, you won't obviously want Axios, fetch just works fine there. And yeah, fetch is the only option you have there, in fact. Hi, can we build REST API for Angular using Laravel Passport? I have used Node.js Passport library, not really sure about Laravel Passport, but you could pretty much build REST API in any backend language, right? So that should be a yes. Flutter or React Native? Well, I'm a little bit towards React side, so I'm gonna obviously go with React Native, but Flutter obviously is the obvious candidate as well in the market which cannot be ignored so it really depends on if you want to work with javascript or if you want to work with dart which are two separate languages flutter has its own pros and cons react native has its own pros and cons so yeah it's it's a matter of choice here but i'll go with react native if you ask me a web developer in india which frame which of the frameworks should i learn angular react view well angular in itself is a very sophisticated framework if you have mastered angular in a good sense then pretty much you don't need a uh, react or view you would pretty be able to get decent jobs in angular itself but uh, if you are like the guy who wants to be jack of all master of none then angular and react basically all three are pretty awesome if you ask me React view is, uh, is uh, on the rise because of uh, what a lot of things you can do with a lot less code and view is much cleaner and um, you know the code actually speaks what you want to do. So that's that. React is <clears throat> the obvious love for me because I'm uh, using React a lot in my day-to-day -day things. Angular is also good, provides you a very strict um, environment of creating code, best practices, all that stuff so if you have time go with all three if you want to specifically learn any one or two i would go with uh, let's say react and view are there any better alternatives to redux um redux is not really required in a lot of applications but once you have instantiated at least install redux into your environment it's pretty straightforward to get working with but if you're asking for alternatives there's this library called mobx if you have seen it it's mobx and it's quite popular among uh, um, the alternatives of redux so go ahead and give it a try see if it works for you how to start with react next.js mongo express elastic search thanks bro um well all of these things which you have mentioned except for mongo you would pretty much need to learn javascript first right once you have a good grasp on javascript not really good a basic grasp as well move on to any framework like just like you mentioned react then use libraries and you know extensions associated with it next.js mongo is pretty easy to get started with it's just uh you would pretty much be able to relate it with the json data type express again um is for the back end part it's pretty straightforward to get started with the crux of your answer what you want here is learn javascript in a good way i just started my college i want to know everything about how to be a programmer step by step how can i start step by step and how can i get to work based upon what i've learned um if you want to be a programmer towards the web development side then obviously you need to get started with html css javascript these are the prerequisite for at least the front-end developer then if you are comfortable with javascript you can choose it as your backend language as well that is your node otherwise you can select any other language if you want php c sharp um, java any other backend if you want ruby ruby on rails stuff like that so um you want to know everything about how to be a programmer that is you start learning languages and start making actual things which are usable um by you and as well as by your friends or other people around you and how can i start step by step you have to step number one go to google and step number two is how do i learn not really how do i learn but just you know the language space it's tutorials just scan 10 12 links for first 10 12 links um get as much information as you can from them pick up a video series maybe start skimming through the docs start seeing um, stack overflow question and answers related to that start implementing what you have learned and you would be making a lot of mistakes while you're implementing and you're going to learn a lot of a lot of things from those mistakes as well and how, how can you get work based upon what i learned well it depends what work you want 
if you want to get into freelancing and stuff you can pretty much join any freelancing website otherwise if you want an actual job you have to um, pick up your stack that is um, things you can say you are good in let's say HTML CSS react maybe react and node so that's your stack and then you go ahead and apply for companies which work with that particular stack and that's how you get an actual job for freelancing it's much more comfortable for you you can work with any particular stack you want expo or react native cli which one's the best expo is awesome if you want to quick start your projects and uh, basically it includes a lot of modules but at some point if you are building a medium to large scale application you're gonna eject anyway because expo does not contain all the modules which are available by the community so if you ask me it's pretty easy to get started with react native cli um, in the starting and then you know building upon it from the very start instead of using expo but expo works great if you ask me if you have not a lot of requirements for your app if you're just developing an app for your hobby or maybe a small app which you want to showcase then expo is great otherwise go with the react native cli please use a good microphone your audio quality is very poor yes um previous videos were are uh, and are uh, have uh, poor audio quality i know about that but uh, yeah i'm learning every day and uh, i think audio is pretty good right now if uh, it's not then maybe you could let me know again what is the future of android developer and your playlist is enough for learning android future for android developer is pretty bright but if you ask me um if you want you can learn java and kotlin and stuff but uh, yeah i think you would be there in the market later on but a lot of focus right now at the moment is in is on the cross-platform frameworks like react flutter react native flutter and native script and all these technologies so pick java pick uh, kotlin but make sure you have a little bit of grasp on these other frameworks as well if you want my playlist is enough for learning android not completely but it would get you started and would place you at a very good position so that you could just go ahead and start exploring yourself what you want to do next what's the best resources online course certification available to become a mern stack developer use google bro use google use docs official docs do it yourself you could pick up a video series maybe pick up a udemy course whatever you want stick with it at the end of the day it's just about how much you do yourself and not about how many resources are available there are a lot of there are very few things for which the resources are not available for most of the things right now these days resources are there it just depends on how much effort you put native script or react native is best well um both have their own place in the market but these days I'm experimenting with native script and I'm really liking it. But React Native also is close to my heart. So I cannot really say at the moment what is the best. If you ask me forcefully, then obviously I'm going to go with React Native for now because I have much more experience in that than native script. But native script is on the rise. So it's not going anywhere. What is the extension with Antidote logo on the left side of your VS Code? Well, yeah, you asked me in, uh, in a video as well. This question I remember it's uh it's java test pack i have installed it it's not really test pack it's java test runner um yeah it's not really i mean i don't use java that much it's not really that important to me but yeah if you want it there you go create a new project in react native let's take a new topic for that sure send me your topic what you want and uh, i'll try to fit it in somewhere in my timeline so yeah that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe press the bell icon thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one